Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths, as seen at Legacy.com in the third week of March 2022. Actor Jimmy Lydon died March 9, 2022, at his home in San Diego at the age of 98. He was a young star in the 1940s, known for films including Life with Father and the Henry Aldrich series. Lydon is being remembered for giving Elizabeth Taylor her first on-screen kiss in the 1947 movie Cynthia. Actor Akira Takarada died March 14, 2022, at the age of 87. He starred in the original Godzilla movie in 1954, playing a sailor who works with the Coast Guard after Godzilla's first attack. Takarada is also being remembered for many other movie roles, as well as voiceover work. He dubbed Japanese voices for characters including Jafar in Aladdin. Baseball player Ralph Terry died March 16, 2022, in Kansas at the age of 86. He was a pitcher for the New York Yankees in the 1960s, and he also played for teams including the Cleveland Indians and Kansas City Athletics. Terry is being remembered for pitching in two memorable World Series, including when the Yankees won in 1962. U.S. Representative Don Young died March 18, 2022, while traveling home to Alaska at the age of 88. He was Alaska's sole representative in the House for almost 50 years, longer than any other Republican representative in history. He is being remembered for chairing the Committee on Natural Resources and serving on the Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure. Young was a U.S. Army veteran who served in the 1950s. Mechanic and TV personality Pat Goss died March 19, 2022, at the age of 80. He was part of the PBS show Motor Week for more than 40 years, hosting the auto maintenance segment Goss's Garage. Goss is being remembered for helping countless viewers keep their cars running smoothly. Journalist John Clayton died March 18, 2022 at a hospital in Bellevue, Washington. He died after a brief illness at the age of 67. He was an NFL reporter for ESPN for more than 20 years, known as The Professor. Clayton is being remembered for his serious and knowledgeable sports reporting and for one very funny Sports Center commercial. Singer Lashun Pace died March 21, 2022, of organ failure at the age of 60. She was known for gospel music hits, including her signature song, I Know I've Been Changed. Pace is also being remembered for her song, Act Like You Know, which found a new audience recently as part of a TikTok trend. Surfer Janet McPherson died March 5, 2022, at her home in Malibu, California. She died of cancer at the age of 84. She was a pioneer of women's surfing, riding the wave since the 1950s, a time when few women surfed. McPherson is being remembered as a legend of her sport, who continued surfing regularly even when she was in her 80s. Designer Chris Madden died March 2, 2022, at a hospital in Vero Beach, Florida. She died after taking a fall at home at the age of 73. She created home furnishings collections for J.C. Penney and Bed Bath & Beyond, and she published books and magazines with design advice and inspiration. Madden is being remembered for helping people turn their homes into relaxing havens.
Diplomat Madeline Albright died March 23, 2022, of cancer at the age of 84. She was the first female Secretary of State in U.S. history, serving during President Bill Clinton's second term. She also served as the U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations. Albright is being remembered as a trailblazer who broke through an important glass ceiling. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags across the United States have been lowered to honor the memory of former Secretary of State Madeleine Albright. Flags across the United States, as well as state flags in Alaska, have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Representative Don Young. Flags in North Carolina have been lowered to honor the memory of former State Senator William B. Miller Sr. and former State Senator Linda Garou. Flags in Virginia have been lowered to honor the memory of Covington Police Officer Caleb Ogilvie, who was killed in the line of duty. Flags in Indiana have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Army Captain Andrew W. Laud. Flags in Texas have been lowered to honor the memory of Deputy Barbara Fenley. Flags in Pennsylvania have been lowered to honor the memory of Trooper Martin F. Mack III and Trooper Brandon T. Siska, who were killed in the line of duty. Flags in Ohio have been lowered to honor the memory of Portsmouth firefighter and EMT Edward Long. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. Forty years ago this week, guitarist Randy Rhodes died in a plane crash at the age of 25. Singer Aretha Franklin was born 80 years ago this week. She died in 2018 of pancreatic cancer at the age of 76. Actor and musician Jerry Reed was born 85 years ago this week. He died in 2008 of emphysema at the age of 71. Actor, comedian, and writer Carl Reiner was born 100 years ago this week. He died in 2020 of natural causes at the age of 98. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.